Hi guys, welcome back to Surviving Infidelity. Today's story is titled, Should I Ask for a Paternity Test? Feeling insecure as hell, we'll say. So this is a part one to a two part video. So you'll have to check out the second part once it's uploaded. Also, don't forget the Patreon, the link will be in the description. I'm uploading onto that now more often. Uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Wife and I have been married for two years and currently she is about six months pregnant. I am 24 and she is currently 22. Around the time she got pregnant, she went to a trip to Miami with her two other girlfriends, both are single. I wasn't fully comfortable with her going at the time, but I didn't want to come off as a controlling husband. Ever since she's came back, I have been feeling insecure as hell. Now that we are having a kid on the way, my insecurity is only getting worse. Recently, I've been watching the Murray show, paternity slash lie detector show, and the idea got into my head that the son my wife is having might not be mine. Should I ask for a paternity test? Will that ruin our relationship? I can't keep going on not knowing exactly what she did in Miami. I wonder if there's more than just, if is there more evidence than just you having a feeling of it? I know also gut feelings can be very right, but I feel like you need some evidence as well behind it to help. Edit one. What people here and my good friend has told me is that if I sign the birth certificate, it is really hard to remove my name, even if I'm not the father. Yeah, that is, that is true. The main problem is that our whole family is going to be here in a month. So if we don't talk about the paternity test, it would be the best to do it before they all came. Okay. Honestly, I'm also going to say, just go with your gut feeling. If, it, if you feel like that, then edit two. My wife's friends are really S-L-U-T-T-Y. What's another word for that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just very out there, we'll say, uh, which is what made me uncomfortable and insecure. On top of that, I told her not to get wasted when she went down there. First night, she calls me wasted. Two, to the people that say, so what if it isn't your kid? Seriously? I'm not going to be some... <laughs> the word is funny, but like, I'm not going to be someone else's father if it's not his. Um, I wish I could say the word. I don't know if I can. I probably can, but I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. Three, women can guarantee their maternity, yet men can't be sure. So please, if you are a woman commenting on this thread, please keep that in mind. Four, I know I am insecure. I don't know who wouldn't be in my situation. I wish I wasn't as insecure. I went against my own inhibitions when I told my wife I didn't mind her going to Florida. I try to make myself better, but I'm not perfect. Okay. Okay, there's another edit. So edit three. To those saying my wife did nothing wrong, yeah, she didn't. But in all fairness, going to Miami with her single friends is not appropriate for a married woman. I. This is where I'm going to probably not go with what he reckons because what if all her friends are single she can't go on a girl's holiday or hang out i don't know if she has been um loyal or not but either way i feel like i don't agree with that i feel like people should be allowed to hang out with their friends <laughs> even if they're single or not you know um but also i'm pretty sure i don't know if i'm correct saying this but i know miami is very known for like that stuff but i don't know i don't know let me know what you think. Would you let your, if you had a wife or a husband, go with their single friends to a holiday? I don't know. Is Miami known for that kind of stuff? I don't know. <laughs> uh, when my single friends invite me to go clubbing with them or bar hopping late in the night, I refuse them because I am a considerate of my wife. I am going to talk to my wife about my feelings and I will post an update in two to three days. Thank you all for those that responded. I feel like you should definitely talk if you feel have a feeling. But I feel like you shouldn't also be limited to hanging out with certain friends because of that, if that makes sense. Edit four. I stated in the title, feeling insecure as hell. More than aware that I am insecure and my feelings aren't rational. I don't understand why people are being so nasty in the comments section though. From what I'm reading, I'm guessing 90% of you guys have not been in a relationship because I don't know who has this fantasy 100% trust. I love my wife and no, I don't want to break up with her, but my subconscious has been right before. I feel like going with your gut then. Do talk to her. Okay. First update of many. So it says, should I ask for a paternity test? Update. I talked to a friend of mine who is good friends with one of my wife's single friends and voiced to him my concerns. He said he is more than willing to help me figure out exactly what happened in Miami. So he offered to talk to his wife's single friend. After about 30 minutes, he calls me back and told me 
that supposedly they went to a big house party and the next day went clubbing with the guys they met at the house party. I asked my friends for details on exactly what my wife did, but he said that my wife's friend was very vague when it came to specifics. I muster up all the courage I have and I confront my wife about what happened in Miami. She said, oh, we just went to a small get together and then to the beach. I looked her dead in the eye and said, so you guys didn't go to any parties in Miami? She then amends her statement and says, she went to a party with her friends the first day and then her friends brought two guys to their hotel room, but I didn't do anything. I asked her, what exactly did she do? And she said, oh, I didn't sleep in the bed while they were doing anything. I just watched TV. I just stared deep into her eyes and said, oh, so while they were messing around and you were drunk, you were just watching TV. It became obvious that she was lying. And it wasn't long before she says, look, blank and blank are the crazy ones. I didn't do anything. I tell her, oh, it's just that I get off the phone with her friend. And she said, you did a bit more than watch TV. (laughs) I like that I did that. All of a sudden, she starts crying hysterically. She starts pleading with me that she didn't have intercourse with the guy, that she just blew him because she felt bad that he brought her drinks and didn't want to just lead him on. No! That's not a good, like, reasoning to blow someone off because you felt guilty. You should not let him buy you drinks then. Like, I tell her that it is perfectly fine and she doesn't have to lead him on anymore because she's a newly single. <laughs> she starts mentioning our son that I would be a terrible father if I left him for something so small. Okay, that's not small. That is not small. I don't respond to her cries. I get my car keys and go out for a drive. I return home about an hour ago. I think my wife headed off to spend the night at her friend's house. I have called my parents and told them what happened. They said they wanted to come over to check up on me. I also got on calls from my mother-in-law reiterating that our son needs a father and that people who make mistakes, not the manipulation and the guilt tripping from both the wife and the family. My dad said that he can recommend me to a good lawyer to help with the divorce and paternity issues. I would want to make sure that the kid is even mine. As for now, I'm not sure how I'm ever going to get into a serious relationship with another girl. My trust issues and insecurities are going through the roof right now. Yeah, that's valid. I understand that. After talking to my mum and dad, I feel much better, but I am still pretty lonely. Thank you guys for listening to my story. Just feels really good to get this off my chest. If you guys have any advice for me as of now, please share. Thanks. Gut feeling ones are so cool because it's just crazy how you can just get such a feeling and it comes out that your feelings were right. Edit one. What really hurt was that she never blew me. What? Because she said that if she did, then that I would lose respect for her. And then she blows another dude because he brought her drinks. That is really weird. Um, aren't you in a relationship? Why are you blowing someone else but not your own husband who's meant to be the father of his child? Feels bad. On top of that, I come to find out that she is spending the night at one of her guy friend's house. After I ignored calls from her cell phone, she called from his landline. Okay, that's a bit weird too. Another thing I really hope, I am not the father of this child. I can't imagine having to deal with her every time I go to pick or drop him off. Yeah. Um, I think it's good that he went with his gut feeling. It's always the gut feelings that come out to be true. Um, I really like these kind of stories in that sense of like the feeling and it happens to be true. Sometimes your body, you just know something and it's so interesting. I'm happy he went with it and went with his gut feeling because, you know, he could have not ever known this. Um, and I can't believe she generally, generally reckons it's something not worth fighting and like leaving her over and using the child as a reason to that. You literally cheated. How can you think that's not big? But that's it for the first part of this video. Uh, Let me know what you thought about this story in the comments below. Don't forget about the Patreon in the description. If you want to check it out, check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.